Let's take a look at the differences in reference creation control in SOLIDWORKS and Creo Parametric. And a warning, this is probably going to be the most boring video in my whole series on SOLIDWORKS versus Creo Parametric. That sound you just heard was everyone clicking away from this video. But if you are really into CAD, well, this gets to some of the fundamentals about how CAD works and also this video is probably going to be very emblematic of the whole theme of the series of SOLIDWORKS versus Creo Parametric about simplicity versus functionality. So let's dive into this. Reference creation control is about the ability to design with external references. Here I am with an assembly open in SOLIDWORKS. If I want to control the ability to make external references while working on different components inside of this assembly, I can go to the options drop down and then choose options from here. We get a dialog box opens with a number of different categories over on the side. And I'm going to click on external references. And initially it appears that there are a lot of different options in here pertaining to external references, but most of these deal with saving and retrieving and naming the different files and entities that have external references. When it comes to controlling the ability to make external references, there are really two main options that you have in this dialog box. The first one is going to be this third one up here, allow multiple contexts for parts when editing in assembly. And so this gets into something called in context features in SOLIDWORKS. And those are features that are created in a part when you have the assembly open. When you have the assembly open, you can right click on a component and choose edit part. Also, you can use the edit component icon that is in the ribbon in order to work on an individual part. And in Creo Parametric, that would be the same as activating the component. In SOLIDWORKS, when you do that, when you create these in context features, then if you take a look at the help from SOLIDWORKS, and I am pretty much quoting here, it says that parts with features defined in an assembly context must maintain association with the parent assembly to update correctly. So that's something that Creo Parametric gets around with using data sharing features and some other different techniques. But SOLIDWORKS doesn't really have a copy geometry feature or merge inheritance features or shrink wrap features. So here this option for allow multiple contexts for parts when editing in assemblies. Well, that says that a part could have multiple external references to different components. So this is one control that you have over the ability to create external references. The other main option is this down over here. Allow creation of references external to the model. This one is checked and you can choose between the reference component type can be any component by default or you could limit it to envelope components. And then you also have the control in the context of the top level assembly or you could restrict it to the same assembly. So again, essentially two separate controls that you have over the ability to generate external references. Now let's jump over to Creo and take a look at how they do it. All right, here I am in Creo Parametric and there are three different areas where you can control the ability to create external references. The first one that we will take a look at are your configuration options. If I go to File Options and then Configuration Editor, here I have it set to By Category, and I'm looking at All Options, and there are a number of different categories in here. Give me a moment as I look for the relevant one. Let me collapse some of these just so it's easier to scroll down through this long list. And yes, there are a lot of configuration options in Creo Parametric. Last time I checked, there were over 1,800 of them with each new version of the software as they add more functionality, they create more configuration options, they deprecate some different ones. Let me look, oh, here we are, reference control. So here are all the different configuration options that you can set regarding the ability to create 
external references. And I wrote a book on top-down design in Creole Parametric. I'm not trying to plug my book, but I had to go through all of these different options in order to understand them and be able to explain them in the book. That chapter in my book, it was like chapter eight or so. That was the longest one to write because I had to go through all the different methods of creating these. And at first you might be like, why do you have so many different options for controlling external references? Well, when I went through them, it's like they all actually make sense and have a different use to them. So one way that you can do it is with these external references. And these external references, if they are in your config.profile, then those options will be read in when you launch Creo Parametric. So you can control the ability of the users, say in your product development organization, to create external references or not by using these reference control options. All right, let's get out of, oops, actually I wanted to stay in that dialog box. Let's take a look at the second place where you can do it. And that is from the assembly category over on the left-hand side of the Creo Parametric Options dialog box. This very top section up here is about reference creation and backup control. And these options here pertain to your Creo Parametric session. So while you're working in Creo Parametric, let's say that you want to apply different options than what you have in your config.profile, you can do it for your current Creo Parametric session. And if you have options in your config.profile that conflict with your Creo Parametric session, Creo Parametric is going to go with the more restrictive option. And so that's why you have the ability to change the option for your particular session. Let's say that you wanted to make sure that you absolutely were not going to create external references. So for example, we have an option up here for external components permitted for reference creation. By default, it's set to all components, but you could limit the external references to inside a subassembly, similar to that choice that we saw over for SOLIDWORKS and skeleton and layout models, or you could set it to none if you don't want people to make external references. And if I hover over this option, you can see that in the tooltip, it gives the name of the corresponding config.pro option. But even if you set this, you're allowed to make exceptions to that. And you can see the config.pro option. And I'm not going to go through all of these, but you can see that there are a lot of different ways that you can be particular about how external references are created in Creo Parametric. So this is the second place that you can look into them. Let me cancel out of here. And the third place is from the model properties. If you go to file and then prepare, here we have model properties. This is a command that I use so often. I have it added to my quick access toolbar. I can get to it with one click. And then down here we have reference and backup. And I'll click the change button. And here we have the reference creation control dialog box. By the way, I did an entire video on this dialog box. It is by far the most boring video on my channel. As a matter of fact, when I made the video, it was so boring, I actually fell asleep in the middle of creating the video while I was talking. But anyhow, here we have reference creation control. So in addition to having the different options that can be applied when you launch Creo Parametric and the options that you can change when you are in your current Creo Parametric session, you can also establish reference creation control settings or the ability to create external references for the particular model that you are working on. So for example, here, external components permitted for reference creation. It's set to all components, but again, you can limit it to a subassembly, skeleton and layout models, or none. And if you change this to one of the other different options, hey, then you can allow exceptions. Here we have placement references for backup, feature references for backup, geometry available for reference selection by other models. In other words, you can control the ability of other models to make external references to this model. Let's say that you absolutely didn't want people making an external reference to this particular component. 
you can limit that with this particular setting and again you have a corresponding config.pro option for this you also have your session options for controlling this so for example let's say you have hardware let's say that you have a bolt or let's say that you have a nut or let's say that you have a spring and you don't want people making external references to it you can restrict that and again we have our allow references when placing this model hey can you create external references when you are placing this model in another assembly so we have all of these other different settings over here that get into a fine granular detail over the ability to create external references so again i think this gets to the heart of the difference between solidworks and creo parametric and it's really simplicity versus functionality hey if you are a person who loves simplicity I get that I understand it maybe you just want to create geometry create parts create assemblies create drawings you just want to get in there and do it you don't want to get into all these multiple workflows and options and details about it you just want to make stuff I get that but if you are a person who's into a lot of different methods a lot of different workflows a lot of different capabilities a lot of different options like controlling the ability to make external references if you're into having all that other different functionality i completely understand hey i'm that kind of person that's why creo parametric might be more towards your liking i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindshield.com if you learned something from this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this video please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded thank you very much